belief in the Holy Quran and all of God's past scriptures that God has sent down to serve humanity as delivered through his prophets is an article of faith in Islam, one in which every Muslim is obligated to believe. Muslims believe in all of God's inspired books. The Holy Quran states, Say, O believers, we have believed in Allah and what has been revealed to us and what was revealed to Abraham and Ishmael and Isaac and Jacob and the descendants of what was given to Moses and Jesus and what was given to the prophets from their Lord. We make no distinction between any of them. We are Muslims in submission to him. Prophet Muhammad reported that more than 124,000 prophets and 315 messengers were sent to humanity over time. Inspiration or revelation comes to God's human prophets either directly or through an intermediary of Angel Gabriel who brings the revelation to them. Every prophet received inspiration from God. Some of the revelations later were compiled to form the content of larger books. Some of these books were named to us by God, others were not. God states that He has sent previous scriptures before the Holy Quran. Amongst these divine books is the Injil, the Gospel, the Torah, the Zabur, Psalms of David, and the scriptures revealed to Prophet Abraham. Every religion that believes in God believes in revelation. These books seek to guide man through every aspect of life. God's books as a whole acts as a guide, an instructional manual regarding the manner in which one's life should be lived. He has sent down upon you, O Muhammad, the book of truth, confirming what was before it, and he has revealed the Torah and the Gospels. All of the preceding prophets and books were sent to past nations that lived before us and does not apply to us. Only the final prophet and the final testament, the Holy Quran, is meant for our nation, the last nation, and are meant to be followed to the last day. Whenever a revelation was sent from God, that revelation would contain a prediction of another revelation to come after it. When the new revelation arrives, it becomes mandatory for the one that believed in the previous scripture to believe in the next one. One has to believe in all of God's revelations, and the rejection to any of them is equal to the rejection of all of them. Past nations that received divine books were entrusted to protect them, also being told to draw guidance through them, empowering them to live righteous lives and become closer to God. However, throughout time, this trust was betrayed. These books were distorted, changed, corrupted, and edited with man-made additions and subtractions. Once altered, these books no longer contain the true words of God. When previous holy scriptures were altered and corrupted by human hand, due to the mercy of God, He sent new scriptures so as not to leave mankind in darkness without the benefit of light and guidance. Eventually, God sent His final testament, the Holy Quran. He did not entrust a nation to preserve this book. Rather, God Himself assured this responsibility to preserve, safeguard, and protect His final book, to ensure that it does not get modified by men in the same manner as the past scriptures. The final nation, our nation, was entrusted to follow only this book, the Holy Quran, and that would guide them to the right path. God made an explicit promise in the Holy Quran to preserve His final book to the end of time. Indeed, it is we who sent down the Qur'an, and indeed, we will be its guardian. Qur'an 15.9 The Qur'an is now a widely known and much memorized document. In fact, the Qur'an is the only book that is memorized by millions of people of all ages around the world, all languages and all backgrounds from one end to the other. Even if all the copies of the Holy Qur'an were burned, this book could not possibly get modified this owning to the fact that it has been memorized by millions of people across the globe by the letter. Due to the fact that the Holy Qur'an will never be distorted or modified by the hands of men, no need ever will exist for new revelation to be sent from God. The Holy Qur'an is the only scripture in existence today that exists in its original language, in words. Not one letter of the Holy Qur'an has been changed since its revelation. Whereas Muslims believe in and respect the past scriptures, the current modern day Old Testament and New Testament, which modern Christians call the Bible, are not published in their original God-given form. Whereas these books still contain some remaining traces of truth, they do not stand in their original revealed form. 
they now contain man-made ideas and innovations that corrupt their current state. God states in the Quran, And indeed, there is among them a party who alter the scripture with their tongues. So you may think it's from the scripture, but it is not from the scripture. And they say, this is from Allah, but it is not from Allah. And they speak untruth about Allah, while they know. Quran 3, 78 The modern day New Testament was authored by individuals after the departure of Prophet Jesus, including the Gospels of Matthew, Mark, Luke, Paul, and the current Psalms of David. These words were authored by individuals, including representatives of the house of Asaf and the sons of Korah and more. The Injil Gospel in which Muslims believe in is that which was brought by Prophet Jesus from God the Almighty Himself. Christians do not believe in the existence of a book in Jil sent from God and given to Jesus, nor do they believe Jesus wrote the Bible. Rather, they acknowledge that the Bible was written by men of all walks of life over the years. The current day Bible is polluted with the ideas of a number of different authors, some of whom are anonymous. The modern day Bible also contains myths, words of men, superstitions, irrational philosophical ideologies, and idol worship. God states in the Holy Quran, So woe to those who write the scripture with their own hands. Then say, this is from Allah, in order to exchange it for a small price. Woe to them for what their hands have written, and woe to them for what they earn. Quran 2.79 Due to the fact that the previous scriptures were meant for past nations, God the Almighty did not find it fit to preserve them. They no longer exist today in their original form. Muslims believe that the Holy Quran has abrogated all previous scriptures before it, meaning that it cancels the rulings of the previous scriptures and renders them inapplicable going forward. Our Prophet narrated, whoever guides another to a good deed will get a reward similar to the one who performs it. So please like, subscribe, and share this video. Assalamu alaikum.